Everybody's just trying to, um, you know, figure out how to move forward from this. A fire last Tuesday didn't leave much of two newly built homes in East Brainerd. It's a terrible situation for the home buyers that were under contract that were getting ready to close in August. The Chattanooga Fire Department says the fire melted vinyl on nearby homes. Homes across the street were not spared from the intense heat. Justin Tate is the real estate agent representing Oakville. He says he heard about the fire as firefighters were working to put out the flames. About 6.05, my phone started blowing up with random phone numbers. I got a Facebook message. Someone sent me a video and all it said was Oakvale fire. And they found a, a house that was under construction, uh, pretty much totally engulfed in flames, uh, that was impacting some surrounding uh, houses. Uh, the firefighters acted quickly and got the fire under control in about 15 or 20 minutes. The Chattanooga Fire Department says the house under construction was mostly a total loss by the time they arrived. I asked Chattanooga Fire Chief Phil Hyman if homes built close together pose problems to firefighters. We find this in, in many developments where houses are extremely close together um, and, and that just poses more problems for firefighters. In 2022, the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety conducted research on building to building fire spread. They found in high density neighborhoods during a severe wildfire and extreme burning conditions lead to a higher number of structures to burn. They say once one home catches, a domino effect can occur if conditions are right. When these houses do catch on fire, uh, exposure control is one of our number one priorities when it comes to these things that are close like this. And it's just it's just a nature of uh, the job that we have to do. Our lots are about a quarter acre lots. Um, uh, they're not any closer than uh, other traditional neighborhoods in the area. According to Hamilton County government, R1 zones are required to have a minimum of 10 feet between homes and the lot line on the side. Tate says the homes on Oakville Drive follow those rules. The setbacks are going to be 10 to 15 feet on the lot line per home, so these homes are going to set at least 20 feet apart. CFD says that the work by firefighters stopped the further homes from being ruined. They also encourage everyone to make sure that their smoke detectors are working properly. We appreciate you choosing News Channel 9 as your source for local news. For updates on this story and other breaking news events, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. News Channel 9, depend on us.